So Joe Biden today at a campaign event in Iowa made the promise to cure cancer. Watch the video and then we'll discuss. You know, uh, a lot of you understand that uh, what loss is and when loss occurs, you know uh, that, you know, people come up to you and tell you, I understand if you lose a, a husband, a wife, a son, a daughter, a family member, and, uh, um, and lots of times you feel like saying, you know, they say, I know how you feel. And if they hadn't, you look at them, you, you know they mean well, but you say, you have no idea how I feel. But when it happens to you, you know. That's why I've uh, worked so hard in my career to make sure that uh, I promise you, uh, if I'm elected president, you're going to see the single most important thing that changes in America is we're going to cure cancer. Uh, you think I'm... But that's another issue. Uh, That's, that's tough, man. Um, for a variety of reasons. Number one, you have to remember that he lost his son to cancer um, a few years ago. Um, obviously, cancer is a scourge, and my heart goes out to anybody, including Joe Biden, who has to go through something like that, man. Losing one of your close family members to cancer. I've lost people to cancer before, but never anybody close. Um, I, I've never had to go through that, I'm sure, unimaginable pain. Just having somebody you love is swept away from you like that, man. So my heart goes out to him. It really does. Um, and I don't want anybody to roast this guy for saying something like this or, you know, come at him for saying something like this. Because honestly, man, I feel like he is still in grieving in a lot of ways. You know, I feel like if you lose somebody like that in such a destructive manner, you're always going to be in grieving in some way, shape, or form. Um, and I think this is part of Joe's grieving process where you would say something like that, like, yeah, when I'm president, I'm going to cure cancer. Because, you know, like, who, who wouldn't want to cure cancer when they're president? But then on top of that, somebody who lost their son to cancer, you know, I, I completely understand being annoyed at the fact you would say something like that, because you might think he's just trying to pander, he's just trying to get votes, whatever the case may be. But no, I don't think it's purely that. I think, honestly, this guy's still grieving. Like, this dude lost his son. Like, you can't, unless you're some sociopath, unless you're some psychopath, like, that's gonna affect you. That's gonna affect the way you, you conduct your policy. It's gonna affect the way that you, uh, that you talk to people. It's gonna affect the way that you view the world for the rest of your life. You lost your son. Like, no parents should ever have to do that. So I completely, I completely understand. I completely understand where he's coming from. Um, and I just feel like, you know, again, I feel like it's wrong to come at this guy for saying something that he's probably just heartfelt. He's probably just came purely straight out of his soul, just out of the, all the pain that he's felt, all the grief that he still feels to this day. And I feel like it's just it's only right to just let him have that process in peace um, and just take things like this with a grain of salt. Obviously, curing cancer is not just going to be some end all effort that's going to happen in the next eight years there are 100 plus forms of cancer there's not going to be a universal cure to cancer anytime soon we are nowhere close to that so obviously that is a stretch to say you're going to cure cancer within the next eight years that you're elected four to eight years that you're elected however again i feel like it is wrong to come at this guy and attack this guy as much as i hate his policies as much as he may be a vapid empty suit on some other issues i think that he is genuinely grieving and I feel like it's wrong um, for anybody to come at him and assume, uh, accuse him of just pandering and trying to get votes for saying something like this. He's in pain. Uh, so again, please don't come at this guy on Twitter or social media or whatever. Just let him have his moment. All right, that, that's, that's my assessment of the situation.